3. Let's take a look at TEEK 3.3c, which states, Explain that the unit fraction 1 over b represents the quantity formed by one part of a whole that has been partitioned into b equal parts, where b is a non-zero whole number. Let's take a moment and break down this standard to make sure that we all understand it correctly. First, let's review some key vocabulary related to fractions. In a fraction, the number above the fraction bar is called a numerator. The number below the fraction bar is called a denominator. For this standard, our numerator because uh, it's stated up here, for this standard, our numerator is always going to be 1. Our denominator can be, so our numerator equals 1. The denominator can be either 2, 3, 4, 6, or 8. And we know that from previous third grade standards. So this is just a reminder. Denominators are going to be one of these values. For this standard, numerator must be 1. So uh, let's talk about what a numerator means. A numerator indicates, I'm going to move this down to give myself more room. A numerator means the number of equal parts being specified or considered a denominator tells you the total number of equal parts in a whole. Okay, so now that we've reviewed some important terminology, let's look at how we can use pattern blocks to teach this standard. I'm going to start with a hexagon. A hexagon can also be represented with two trapezoids. They make the same shape. So we have a one whole hexagon, which can also be represented with two trapezoids. Therefore, one trapezoid is one half with our denominator indicating the number of equal parts, which is 2, 1, 2. Using, again, a hexagon, let's look at a rhombus. How many rhombuses? Three will create a hexagon as well. So the whole of one hexagon can be represented by three rhombuses. Therefore, each rhombus is one-third of a hexagon, with three representing the number of equal parts in the whole. One more example with a hexagon and triangles. How many triangles can we use to make that whole? Six. Six triangles can be used to represent the one whole hexagon. Therefore, each triangle is one-sixth with the six 
indicating the number of equal parts that are needed to make the whole.